This is the Tron XY X5SA printer. It is a uh, core XY printer. Uh, it's a build your own kit. And uh, <clears throat> it's not uh, uh, it's not a high speed printer. It's just using regular uh, uh, what is it? Uh, Marlin. It's not using Clipper. Uh, but eventually I am going to uh, in integrate Clipper into this as well as a better hot end. Uh, but you can see uh, the quality. Let me see if I can get this in close enough. This is my phone, so sorry about that. Yeah, you can see the print quality. It's definitely very good. Um, it took me a couple of days to get this up and running but it's a 330 by 330 by 400 millimeter uh, build platform so it's quite large and uh, I really like it so far um, I did buy some corner pieces braces to uh, kind of beef it up a little bit but I honestly didn't see where People were saying that uh, it's flimsy. I've not seen that so far, <clears throat> but uh, nonetheless, I put them on. And uh, as far as uh, the ability that this machine has, as is, uh, it, it's producing really good product. Uh, I'm sure Clipper will make a big difference on speed. But uh, I also want to enclose this unit so that I can print things like nylon uh, and uh, other material that aren't uh, easy to print, uh, like ABS, ASA, stuff like that. <clears throat> but as far as uh, the quality of the machine, I personally feel mine's very good. Uh, this is the upgraded one, so it has the glass bed on it, and it also has the uh, sensor that sec uh, sensors near proximity rather than metal. So it, it does a much better job that way. Um, I'm not sure about other people's, but uh, I have nothing but good things to say about it so far, and, and I've not even really done anything other than this is all stock. And like I said, you could see the print quality. It was really nice. Um, let's see if we can get in there. Yeah, very nice print quality. And, uh, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> I don't know if I can eliminate these springs eventually. I might want to try to make this so that it's a, a flat bed that's uh, bolted down rather than uh, having clips to hold the glass in it actually will just bolt down so it will be super flat I did have a bit of a time trying to get all this straightened out uh, and it's not perfect yet uh, but I'm getting really great prints so I'm happy I took a pair of well I'll show you I took these dial calipers and I use them every every so often just kept checking it as I went across the bed for the depth and got it within two to three thousandths difference before I did um, bed leveling so that way I could get the best bed leveling now I will say that it when the bed leveling goes over it seems to be like this and I'm not really sure about that so I'm gonna get a straight edge and put a straight edge on it and see if this bed is a little warped if so uh, I might take it out in my shop and try to get some of the warp out of it hopefully because you don't want to hurt the heat filament underneath the aluminum bed <clears throat> which the glass is sitting on top of but if I can do that, if it is a little wavy, I'll, I'll get that done. Um, but yeah, so far, uh, I'm very impressed with it. 
I had just recently bought um, the Anticubic Cobra 2 Pro, which has a form of clipper on it, which is really fast. It really does a nice job. Can't say anything bad about that either. But that said, it is a slinger rather than a Core XY. So the table is going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, which means when you're doing tall prints, is you have the ability to lose it with all that centrifugal force going back and forth. This, on the other hand, um, if I were to do it over again, I probably would not have gotten the Anacubic, and I have nothing bad to say about it. But I got this on eBay for 200 bucks. If you were to go out and buy one like this, all with clipper and everything else, it'd be 800 plus dollars. I can put clipper on this for about a hundred dollars. I can upgrade the uh, the uh, uh, <laughs> extruder for about anywhere from 60 to 150 dollars. And, uh, and then enclose it for maybe another $50, $60. And I'd have way better because it would be something I built and understand everything about it than buying one of those $800 ones uh, uh, to, what is it, uh, bamboo is like $1,500 or more. Uh, yeah, definitely... Uh, well worth getting this if you can find it for 200 bucks or less i wouldn't even hesitate i'd jump right on it uh well i did and uh yeah i'm surprised i don't see more videos on this other than two three years ago on youtube because it's a good investment in my opinion and as far as the clips go i 3d printed those clips they make it a lot easier uh, to you know tension your belt but uh, other than that that's the only thing I've done uh, and they give you plenty of bolts I got extra bolts and screws so it's not like they give you exact number and if you lose one you you're you're out uh, they give you a lot of extras and uh, so uh, yeah that's it and I thought I'd like to do this video and Love to see more recent videos on this. Uh, so when I make it, uh, I'm going. I bought the um, Big Tree Tech um, Pad Seven. Uh, fortunately, I got it for a good price off the internet, and uh, I'm going to incorporate that into this. So that should make this clipper, <clears throat> and then uh, we'll see what happens. And I'll give some updates. But in the meantime, um, if anybody's interested in a printer like this, uh, like I said, it's pretty big. Uh, just to show you how big that is, that's my hand. And that's the item it's printing. So it's pretty good size. Um, I think it'd be well worth it. And you're getting an XY rather than a slinger. Um, and why more people aren't going gravitating to this I don't understand unless they are and they're just not posting videos but yeah I'd love to see more updated videos on this unit and they have a 400 millimeter one they have a 500 and I think a 600 millimeter so they have bigger ones yet yeah, this is the smallest this is not the pro with the pro you get a little bit better option here you get metal the two metal rods coming here but what I want to do on this side here is uh, get rid of this all together and the same thing with this across here and I want to put um, <clears throat> uh, yeah I can't think of it I'll, I'll post it on there what I'm trying to think of um, on there so that it, it's better and more stable than these are uh, I understand over time these will mess up, but I don't see how. 
unless you're tightening them down too much but anyway so that's it i just wanted to post this video i uh, hope you enjoy it and uh yeah let me know appreciate it later